Hi friends. So in this week's episode, we're talking about the Zen of the pen. Journaling became a staple in my morning routine several years ago. The act is so integral to my morning routine now that I'll forget to brush my teeth before I forget to journal. Not that I ever forget to brush my teeth. It is generally the most important ritual I have ever embraced. It not only brings me peace, but it also reminds me and gives me purpose. And if you think you don't have time, well, make time. I highly recommend journaling first thing in the morning to anyone looking for a little bit more zen in their life. Picking up a pen and asking myself, what do I want? is how I keep my dreams alive. It's a way for me to know exactly what it is I want to manifest, whether it be in that day, in this week, or in a month, a year, my life. It makes what I'm going after each and every single day crystal clear. If you do this every single day, write out what it is that you are after, what it is that you want to manifest in your life, you're going to find yourself extremely motivated each day you wake. And so if you're somebody who's not quite sure what you would like to manifest in your life, simply start by writing, what do I want on the top of your paper? And have that conversation with yourself. One of my favorite sayings or quotes, I'm not quite sure if anyone said it first, goes like this. The more you're grateful for, the more you'll be given to be grateful for. There is so much to be appreciative for in each one of our lives. We all have the most unique blessings and it's important that we acknowledge them. I was speaking with one of my incarcerated participants recently and he was telling me about this condition that he has. It's a heart condition and at any given moment his heart could stop beating. And the only way to combat this is they use some electronic device that they actually install into your chest and it's hooked up to your heart. Heart on this side. And what happens is, if the heart were to ever give out, it gives it a little shock so that it continues to beat. And I believe they call it a pacemaker. But this individual was telling me how he thanks God every single day that he went to prison. Because if he hadn't gone to prison, one, he would have never known that he had this condition, and two, he would have never had the money to buy that electronic device to attach to his heart. And he says he would most likely be dead by now if he hadn't gone to prison. And so he is extremely grateful for that. So in each one of our lives, we can find things to be genuinely grateful for. And so maybe you're like me, and you don't know what to write when you want to express some gratitude. So just start off really simple. I'm grateful for my hands. I'm grateful for my feet. I'm grateful for wet grass. I'm grateful for Mother Earth, my family, my sister, laughter. Just expressing a little bit of gratitude in your day can make a world of difference in your mood.
Sometimes there just isn't anything to say, and that's absolutely okay. You can still use the pen to find a little bit of zen. I often use whole arm movement and muscular movement drills in order to create a meditative state through the pen. And this exercise can be extremely enjoyable. Being extremely mindful of all of the little details that take place in this movement. The placement of my arm, the activation of certain muscles, the movement, the breathing that coincides with the movement. All of these little details turn the whole arm drills and the muscular movement drills into an incredibly mindful exercise. And you can find a whole ton of Zen through this. It can be a little challenging at first, as with any other type of meditation. But as you practice, you will get to see yourself grow through this process. It is a great exercise to ground yourself in the present moment. And it'll also improve your handwriting in the long run. Peace and penmanship progress in one setting. Now that's practical. Have you ever been going along, minding your own business, and all of a sudden, you're attacked by this horribly negative thought? Maybe you're driving and it's the thought of a car accident. Maybe you're having some dinner and you imagine yourself choking. Or maybe you're walking through your school quad and your worst nightmare came true when you stepped over the ledge and didn't lift your foot high enough and stumbled and fell on your face in front of everyone. But of course, you just imagine whatever the thought has been. I know you know, I know that you know what I'm talking about because it happens to us. So sitting down and having a conversation with yourself through the pen is a way of shaking this inner dialogue and tailoring it to the experience you want to have. Today, without even thinking of it, when I sit down to journal almost Every single day, the first thing that I write is, Wow, what a beautiful day. Or, another beautiful day. Or, isn't it such a beautiful day? And even if in that moment, I don't exactly know why it is, I have trained myself to subconsciously emit that thought. So I don't have to think about it, it just happens, it comes out. The same way that negative thought pops into your head, I've created this positive thought that will pop into my head and I've done it through writing. And I've done it by writing it over and over and over for months now. And so since I'm attracting this positive thought first thing in the morning, I'm not as often bothered by these negative thoughts that may pop into my head throughout the day. And when it does happen, because we can't control these thoughts that pop into our head, so when it does happen, I just laugh it off and say, but it's a beautiful day. And so I really want to encourage you to take the time out of your day to sit down and have a conversation with yourself through the paper. It's truly an incredible ability that we as humans have to sit down and articulate our thoughts in this way that physically manifests instantaneously on the page. So friends, I want to thank you all for tuning in today. I hope you have enjoyed today's content and do let me know in the comment section below if you go out and experience a little bit of Zen through your pen tonight. I hope to see you all next week in the next Practical Penmanship episode. Thank you for tuning in. You guys know what to do. Take care.